Traversing a linked list data structure is a common interview question. Today, we'll explore how to do so in JavaScript. So the linked list data structure often will appear in this format. Here, we have the number five linked to the next number three linked to the next number 10. In JavaScript, a linked list tends to be represented as an object with a value and a reference to the next item in the list. This linked list here might be represented as such. const linked list equals an object. The first value is five. Then the next object will have a value of three. Then the next object will have a value of 10. And then finally, our next value might be null to signify that there's no more items in our linked list. So how do we traverse this linked list? Let's take some hints from the data structure. Our goal will be to traverse this list and convert it into an array that has five, three, and 10. So what we can do is sort of recursively go down each object here and say, if there is a next value, uh, let's move on to that one and pluck the value out of it. And if there is no next value, if next is null, then we know we are done, so we no longer have to go on. What we can do is create a, an array. We'll just call it ARR. And we can create a variable called head, which will essentially uh, start out as pointing to the entire linked list, but it will end up sort of bouncing down to each next value as we move. So what we can say is while head is not equal to null, let's, uh, let's keep moving down our list. And so we can say push to our array head.val. Uh, that means that we are, uh, when we start out, we're going to push five to the array. Uh, then somehow we're going to move on to the next object and push three. Then we're going to move on to the next object and do 10. So how do we move on to the next object? Well, what we can simply do is say head equals head dot next. And so when our head starts out pointing to this object, uh, we will then set it to head.next and it will point to this object. And then we'll set it to head.next, which will point to this object. And finally, it'll be head.next, which points to null, uh, at which point our loop will stop. So yeah, this could simply be how we do it. Let's go ahead and uh, log our array here and see if it works. I can go ahead and say uh, node down here in my console. And sure enough, we have logged that our linked list is converted to an array of three elements, five, three, and 10. 